in cooperation with the Kraft Foods Company, makers of new Kraft Deluxe Margarine in the red and gold package, X-Lax, America's largest selling laxative, and Permanet for waves and curls that last from shampoo to shampoo, safe, easy, gentle Permanet. The Mutual Broadcasting System presents David Harding, Counter Spy. And now, here's important news for every woman. Well, Edith, I gotta run. Don't want to be late for my permanent. Permanent? You still get permanent. Who needs permanence now? Right. Who needs permanence now? Because now you can get beautiful, lasting waves and curls with Rand's Permanent. Not permanent, but Rand's Permanent. And just as the name implies, you get beautiful curls and waves that last from shampoo to shampoo. No more damaging permanence. No more messy lacquer sprays. No more pinup problems. Rand's Permanent gives you springy, longer-lasting waves and curls because it's absorbed by hair. Amazing how hair thickens luxuriously, takes on body and sheen. Curls and waves are locked in to stay. So who needs permanence now? You're all set with safe, gentle Rand's Permanent. Condition and set your hair once with this fragrant lotion, and you'll never stop using it. I'm so glad I found Rand's Permanent. Who needs permanence now? Get Rand's Permanent at all cosmetic counters. Counter Spy, a program especially transcribed to help investigate and combat the enemies of our country, both at home and abroad. <laughs> speak to you for a moment? Well, yes, yes, madam, of course. I, I was on my way back to the cemetery's entrance, and I began to feel faint. Well, you'd better sit down now, right here on this bench here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there. I hate to intrude on anyone, but it is so lonely here this time of year, and I did think I might be ill. Well, now, that's quite all right. When you feel up to it, I'll walk you to the entrance. You're very kind. I've seen you here often. Really? Well, no, I, I come here every Sunday. So do I. My boy is buried here. Yes, yes, so is mine. He was killed in Korea. He was a Marine. Now, that's odd. My my son, John, was also killed in Korea. He was also a Marine. For over a year, I thought I would lose my mind. But now, now that I talk to him every week, it is so much better. Now, I'm not sure that I understand you, madam. How do you manage to talk to him if he's dead? I have found a simply wonderful method of communication. Spiritualism. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, seances and all that sort of thing. Uh, if you knew what peace of mind, what comfort spiritualism has brought me, you wouldn't speak of it the way no, you do. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean to sneer at it. If it gives you comfort and peace of mind... No, no, perhaps I've been missing something. Well, I, I'd like to know if you'd be so kind uh, to permit a lonely man to go with you the next time you attend the meeting. You should have heard him. I'm doing John Vanderbilt a favor. Get it, Mr. Kirkham, a favor. I'm letting him bring me to the seance next week. Well, if we land him, Maisie, we are the easy street. We'll land him. When Slim and I go into our act, we'll land him. Yeah, the dear little old lady in mourning, talking to the spirit of her son. And yeah, look, all you've got to do is stay sober. Get off my back. Yeah, look, hey, don't come back loaded. When it's time for you to meet the chump, I want you to be able to navigate. Like a congressman. Hey, I'm going down to the restaurant and get something to eat, Mr. Kirkland. Well, okay, Slim. I'm glad I don't have to worry about you and the fire water like I do about Maisie. Oh, I can take it. Or leave it. Hello? Anybody with you? No, sir. What does tonight look like? Uh, it figures to be great. Uh, we've got a, a, a fresh chump lined up. A real big one. Continue to mail the money for a while longer to Ralph X. Stevens, General Delivery, Newark. Yes, sir. I, uh, I want to say something. I've been working for you uh, six months. Now, get me, I'm not complaining. But uh, I've got some ideas. I want to sit down and talk to you. Maybe you don't realize it, but I, I've never met you. I realize, Kirkland. I'll make myself known to you when I feel like it. <laughs> How 
Harding speaking. This is Slim, Mr. Harding. I'm calling from the restaurant phone booth. I've been waiting for your call, Slim. Hey, I got it all arranged for late tonight. After the seance, there'll be some drinking, and then they'll go to bed. Good. I want to go over their whole layout. I hear the voice. It is crying out. It is a voice crying out from the other side of the world. Mother, mother, are you there? Yes, yes, son. How are you, dear? I am all right, mother. It is good, very good speaking to you. Is there anything I can do for you? No, dear, nothing. Did you do as I told you to do about the house? Yes, yes, I did exactly as you told me to. I held on to it, and three days later, I was offered considerably more money for it. That is good. I have to go now, Mother dear, but I'll talk to you again next week. Goodbye, my son. But that, that's incredible. Simply incredible. Would you see me to my home now, Mr. Vanderwood? I am at peace with the world. Yes, yes, of course. I, I'll be glad to. You know, that was simply incredible. I I never thought such things could really happen. Back to Counter Spy in just a moment. There's a surprise waiting for you next time you go shopping for food. It's in a red and gold package with a familiar name Kraft on it. It's new Kraft Deluxe Margarine. And it's a delicate blend of ingredients that actually captures the flavor of the most expensive spreads that money can buy. You don't believe it? Well, you can actually prove it to yourself. The true flavor test for any spread, you know, is to taste it on hot rolls or bread. Try Kraft Deluxe Margarine on hot muffins or toast. You'll taste that subtle, delicate flavor. And if you can tell new Kraft Deluxe from the highest price spreads, Kraft guarantees to give you double your money back. How's that for an offer? Next time you're out shopping, pick up a pound of new Kraft Deluxe margarine in the red and gold package. It's the luxury spread in every way but price. New Kraft Deluxe margarine, the spread specially made for table use. And now, back to Counter Spy. <laughs> This is David Harding again. It's incredible that in this modern day and age, millions of dollars are spent every year on fake spiritualists and fortune tellers. I had hired Slim, a ventriloquist, to get on the inside of this group after the other members had gone to bed. I met Slim at the spiritualist. Hey, we... we got to be careful, Mr. Harding. If they wake up, we're in trouble. This is the room, Mr. Harding. All the fake spiritualist seances are held right here. All right, throw your life with that, Slim. All right. Hmm. The spirit writing desk? Yeah. The medium puts a piece of paper on the blotter, and then the person who wants to write a confidential message to the spirit world writes on the paper. And folds it himself and burns it, huh? Yeah. The medium then opens the desk drawer like this. Pretending like he's looking for a pencil. That's it. The top of the desk is cut out under the blotter, and a carbon copy of the message drops into the drawer. You see, the medium reads it. They pulled this one on Vanderwood. Well, they did it this evening. Yeah, I see. Well, I'll need copies of those duplicate messages to the spirit world. I want them in court when we've got the Mr. Big behind this operation. As people like Vanderwood, we have to protect from the fakers like Kirkland and whoever's back of it. <laughs> Mr. Vanderwood, I'll come right to the point. Now, you've become involved with some dangerous and very clever swimmers. Your cook been with you long, Mr. Vanderwood? Oh, is she about 12, 15 years? Uh -huh. Well, she happens to have a new boyfriend. The courtship started the very next night after you attended your first seance. Huh? You, you mean these people have gone that far to learn about me? I do. Your crook has been talking every night about you. You, with your background, Mr. Vanderwood, are just the bait we need. Uh, you... 
count on me, Mr. Hart. You can count on me. Is Andy would set for tonight? Yeah, he'll be here for a special seance. I'll be back before curtain time. Hey, you know, sometime he's going to come us up. The boss will give you what for when it happens. Maybe he will, and maybe he won't. I'll be back. Hello, Sleep. Oh, hello, Mr. Kirkland. Hey, we're going to try that new gag tonight, the one where we use the paraffin mask? Yes, and I'm going to pull it myself. Hey, I hear it's been a great success in England. Ought to be good for an extra grand tonight. Well, it'll be worth a hundred grand or more if it takes in old man Vanderwood. He's just about ready for the big touch slip. Just about ready. Say, uh, go down to the cellar. Uh, uh, get me that pail of hot paraffin, will you? Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, just a minute. Oh, uh, the paraffin is right at the foot of the stair slip. Okay, I know where it is. I'm a lord now. Vanderwood coming tonight? Yes, sir. You set? I think so. We've read every newspaper clipping about him that was ever published. And we've been through his house, posing as electricians. I've had Henry uh, keeping steady company with his cook. We've talked with his tailor, barber, and laundry woman. We've talked to kids who served with the boy. With the girls, uh, the kid dated... You know how the West Coast crowd puts a bite on a Hollywood actor for a quarter of a million? Yeah. That's the pitch for Vanderwood. You mean that the kid tells him that spiritualism should be endowed, that the old man is to give us a quarter of a million? A million dollars. We'll set up an institute making it possible for all gold star mothers and fathers to talk with their boys. Hey, here's the paraffin boss. What do I do with it? Uh, you put it over there, Slim. Somebody come in? Yes. I'll talk to you later. I want to know how you do tonight. And Kirkland, don't miss. I wouldn't like it. Back to Counter Spy in just a moment. Don't let irregularity make you feel dragged out, below par. Take Exlax. Exlax is the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity, gently, overnight. Exlax is so gentle that many doctors recommend it for youngsters as well as grown-ups. That's because Exlax gives you the relief you want, the gentle way that nature wants, without upset, without embarrassing urgency. Just take pleasant-tasting chocolate at Exlax at bedtime. It will not disturb your sleep. And it's so effective that the next morning you'll be well on your way toward your normal regularity. Seldom, if ever, will you need Exlax the next day. So, when your system is irregular and you need a laxative, do what most people do. Take X-Lax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity. Take X-Lax today, feel better tomorrow. Introductory size, only 15 cents. Now, back to Counter Spy. <laughs> Vanderwood's here, and that drunken Maisie sitting with him. Hey, hiya. Hiya, hiya Mr. Vanderwood. Oh, oh, good evening, young man. Oh, yes, I'll uh, attend to the lights. And those of us close in mind to the other worlds may feel and see and hear manifestations from the worlds beyond. I will try to reach out into the world beyond. For your son, Mr. Vanderwood. John Vanderwood, can you hear me? John, your father is waiting. Your father is waiting. He wants to talk to you. Is someone trying to communicate with me? Yes, yes, this is your father, Johnny. Dad, it is good to hear your voice. How are you? You don't sound quite the same, John. Are you all right? Yes, I'm quite all right, Dad. Is there anything I can do for you? For me, no. 
But it would be wonderful if you could arrange for other boys to be able to talk to their loved ones. Well, now, how can I do that, son? All you have to do is tell me and I'll do it. Perhaps it would be too much to ask. But if you would put up the money, maybe these fine people who have made it possible for you to talk to me could make the necessary arrangements. Arrangements so that thousands of parents could talk to their boys. Yes, yes, it will be a good thing, and these people here could arrange it. Yes, yes, they could. Have confidence in them, Dad. You can trust them implicitly. You can trust them implicitly. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye. You, you Stephen Baker, you... Oh, well, what's the meaning you of this, Mr. Daniels? You heartless, Daniel? heartless, contemptible, rotten... Yeah, uh, turn the lights on someone. Your vicious, rotten thoughts trying to take me over by playing on my love for my dead son. What are you saying, Mr. Vanderwood? I talk to my boy all the time, and these good people make it possible. Don't, don't you waste your breath on me, madam. You're undoubtedly one of this gang I had to bring me here in the first place. I'll have the counter-spies on you as soon as I can. The counter-spies? They've been checking on you people there. Chief Mr. Harden is the one who made me realize what a fool you people are making up of me. Uh, so that's it, huh? Yes, yes, and I'm going to report to him about this outrageous fraud. Maybe you won't report to him, Mr. How Vanderwood. How are you going to stop me? There are ways, Mr. Vanderwood. I'm afraid you're never going to leave here alive. Stay right where you are, everyone. There are government agents at every door. I'm mighty glad to see you, Mr. Harden. This man was going to kill me. I heard it all, Mr. Vanderwood. I'm afraid I upset the apple cart for losing my temper. Well, no one can blame you. You can't break in this way. How much of a bite were you going to put on Mr. Vanderwood? You can't prove a thing. These phonies got hold of the record of your son's voice he sent you that Christmas from Korea. They had their man spend hours practicing for the occasion. Uh, 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 uh. All right, now take it easy, Kirkland. You'll last longer. You're under arrest. Please, Mr. Harding, I'm just a foolish old woman who tried to make a fast dollar. I have no idea what these men were really up to. How far is she involved, Slim? Oh, she's one of them. Not too important, but one of them. You'll have to stay, madam. Uh, Slim, Slim, you're a stoolie, you're a rat. Slim here is a special agent of mine. Now, Kirkland, as your acting manager, who's the big brains back of all this? I don't know. I never saw him. And I think he's telling the truth, too, Mr. Harding. Now, for weeks, we've been trying to check on how you passed all this money along to the big boss without even knowing who the big boss is. I'm telling nothing. And other than holding fake seances, you've got nothing on me, nothing. i got a surprise for you, Kirkland. You may change your mind when you see what it is. Lights out, Slim. Notice your hands, Kirkland. They glow in the dark. You touched something we had sprinkled with infrared powder, and the powder rubbed off on your hands. That something was money paid you to attend seances. And even though we didn't know how you got the money to the big boss, the big boss handled that money, too. Look at those hands. Over there in the front row. Like the dear little mother. Sitting there in the front seat. Lay off me, will you? You're the big boss. Me, the big boss? That's a laugh. The big boss is a man. Oh, no, Maisie. The big boss is a woman. A woman who can sound like a man over the telephone. And you wouldn't have handled that money if Kirkland hadn't sent it to you. That's right. Who would have thought it? Very clever. Very clever, yes. Joining up as a cheap come-on artist. So you could keep your eye on the boys, huh? Clever. Talking with Kirk backstage, then going out on a fake errand, and calling him in a man's voice in the phone booth just outside. Kirkland, you didn't know that Maisie the Barfly was your boss. Go, I grab her. She went for the high power electric switch. Don't touch her, don't touch her. Wait a minute. Can't we do something? Easy way out. She chose to electrocute herself. It's more eloquent than a written confession.
Here's the newest, greatest gift idea in years. The sensational new Lady Sunbeam Controlled Heat Hair Dryer. It dries your hair in just minutes with new ease and comfort never before possible, making it easy to keep your hair looking its loveliest all the time. Sunbeam dries your hair faster with a comfortable, attractive cap that concentrates all the warm, drying air on your hair. And there are no electric wires in the cap because the warm, drying air comes from Sunbeam's compact control that you can dial for any degree of warmth you wish. And you'll enjoy complete freedom while Sunbeam dries your hair. No more having to sit in one fixed position. You're always free to read, write, knit, and do other things. So for the newest gift idea in years, get the sensational Lady Sunbeam Control Heat Hair Dryer. And for the best electric appliances made... Look for the mark of quality Sunbeam. Counter Spy, originated by Phillips Lloyd, was brought to you tonight by the Kraft Foods Company. Makers of new Kraft Deluxe Margarine in the red and gold package. Chocolated X-Lax, America's largest selling laxative. And permanent for waves and curls that last from shampoo to shampoo. Safe, easy, gentle permanent. In cooperation with the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs> Derby is heard as David Harding. Others in our cast included Jerry Archer, George Spelvin, and Donald Meade. This is Guy Wallace speaking and inviting you to listen to Treasury Agent at this same time on Tuesday nights and Gangbusters at this same time on Wednesday night. Counter Spy is produced and directed in New York. Mutual, the world's largest network.